Look at Shapiro, you make me sick You don't like freedom and look like a weirdo Pay for his attorney general bid But he thinks he's a hero We ain't been hurting nobody So why are you making him fearful? Fear mongering, all posturing Meant for dividing and conquering Wonder who sponsors him Mr. Frisk inserts, I'm vomiting Mind boggling, it's false marketing Want the constitution toppling But they wrong again We just want freedom like soccer was blossoming Liberty. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Roger, uh, welcome back to the channel And if you're a new subscriber I usually do gun reviews Product reviews for firearms You know, a couple vlogs here and there But one thing I do want to point out is I'm sorry everybody, I haven't uploaded Any gun content in a long time Just because I got bored with it And just with COVID And prices fluctuating On everything you can possibly imagine So I took a little break from it But a couple weeks ago I got inspired by looking up a couple YouTube videos Revamping my quote unquote custom Glock. So back during Father's Day, uh, one of my really good friends gifted me a Trigicon RMR. And at that time that he gifted it to me, I was running a Vortex Venom slide, you know, with the Vortex Venom footprint. So I couldn't really mount it to my pistol. So after doing a little bit of research, I came across a company called live free armory which they do custom glock slides for the same price as rock slide usa and to be honest look wise they look pretty badass so i'm going to disassemble my old slide mount up that trigicon rmr we're going to do like a tabletop review and then into some uh gun range footage so i hope you guys like the video please uh like share subscribe and yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. A few moments later. Today we have the Live Free Armory Custom Glock Slide. Um, it is a pre-bought slide. Uh, you can't do no customizations on it um, when you go to the website. It's you buy the slide, they ship it, and you have this. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of specs, or I'll give you the breakdown on it and some of this information that you will hear is uh stuff i'm pulling off of their website it's um livefreearmory.com and they do have ar components sig components glock components and a couple other things so the specs on this particular slide it is the model of it it is the lf 23 i don't know if you can see that but it is for a uh, glock 23 Gen 3. It is currently in FDE. I don't know if I'm going to get it Cerakoted or not, but I think it actually looks good in this Cerakote. Um, the overall length is 6.85 inches. Overall width is 1.055 inches. Uh, overall weight is 9.05 ounces. And the material of this slide is 416 stainless steel. This current slide has the footprint for an RMR or your Hollow Sun, what is it, 407s, 507s, and stuff like that. So these slides are 100% made in America in Melbourne, Florida. It's also further heat treated to 38 to 42 HRC for optimal strength and durability. I don't know what HRC means. Um, if you can, somebody put that in the comments. I'm just, like I said, I'm just going off what the website states. Pretty sure that you can find some more information on this particular slide or their company on the website. They do have a YouTube channel that talks more about their Glock slides. But overall impressions, it actually feels really good. I'm trying to give my fully unbiased opinion just because I, I really do like the slide and plus I paid my actual money for it like this wasn't gifted to me from the company or anything so I'm trying to give my unbiased opinion to you guys to see if you guys should spend that $230 like I did so the relief cuts they look really good the channels for the windows on the side they look really good so you got the bull nose right here 
me. I'm so far. I'm really impressed, you guys. Like I'm really impressed on this slide. So I'm going to get it installed. I got to get my slide out of my old gun. Got to get the upper parts kit out or the upper parts out and put it to this and blah 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 blah. I'm waiting on suppressor height sights just so I can co-witness the RMR so it's not going to have uh, rear and front sights for the time being but yeah let's uh, get this on the gun and see what she looks like later that day alright so first step I'm going to install my channel liner this is from KM Tactical there's all his information right there has a lot of good products you guys for cheap fast shipping I would really recommend him so what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of lube around the outer perimeter of the actual channel liner itself, which I already did. And then just drive it home. I mean, it's not rocket science, you guys. Pretty easy stuff. All right, no, that's in there. Oh, and another thing is it does not come with a channel liner. So always buy a pack of four, pack of threes, pack of tens, pack of twos of channel liners. This always comes in handy. I've had this for six months and I'm like, you know what? Four bucks, can't beat it. Just throw it in my gun safe and bam, look. Now I don't have to wait. So, let's get this. Oh, damn it. I got to take this comp off. Uh, it's going to be a longer process than I thought. All right, so we're going to have to take this comp off. <clears throat> and this is the Strike Industries Mass Driver Comp. Uh, it's an integrated compensator that has its own proprietary recoil spring that integrates itself into your frame, which is actually pretty cool. Unlike other comps where it's just a screw-on compensator that you screw onto a threaded barrel, this you don't need a threaded barrel. So I thought that was pretty neat. Surprisingly, it works. So there's that. your barrel or here's your uh recoil spring a long recoil spring at that and then you have your coupler that uh goes into your uh your uh what is that called your recoil spring place area i don't know what it's called burn me in the comments i don't care oh this boy's dirty all right so i'm definitely gonna have to clean this thing all right, so first up, when assembling a custom slide or just a Gen 3 slide is you're going to find your extractor. Clean it off a little bit. I already cleaned the inside of this with a Q-tip and oiled it a little bit. So you have this peg right here. If you can see that peg, this goes into this slot right there. And then you have your safety plunger. I already cleaned out my safety plunger to spring in it. I'm actually going to just lube it just a tad bit. So you depress that safety plunger in. And then you put your extractor in and let go of it. And it should capture it just like so. Alright, so now we're going to do the extractor rod with the spring and this little plunger mechanism right here. Um, all taken apart, it looks just like that. So essentially what you do is you take the rod, put it on the spring like that. I'm going to go ahead and just clean it up a little bit. Put a little bit of lube on it. Just like so. And then it goes in here with the plastic side facing upwards. So the plastic side has to face you. All right. So I had a little trouble putting my extractor rod in there and it wouldn't go in. So what I found out looking through the extractor rod channel, the screws for my RMR was too long for this side. So essentially what I did is I took this screw out and I put it on the other side and I got a shorter screw and I put it where the channel liner rod side is. 
So this is the shorter screw. I mean, it doesn't match color wise, but it is a 632 thread and it's just a tad bit shorter. So it doesn't protrude into the actual extractor rod channel. So that's just a quick little note for you guys. If you guys are running RMRs, I don't know if every slide company does that to where they mill out their holes all the way through the channel of the extractor rod. So that's the only problem I had. All right, so now I'm gonna mount the RMR. It's a little bit too much. Let's get on there just a little bit, and then go ahead and get this. Feels pretty tight. Don't want to strip out your screws. That'll be a bad day. And voila. And let me turn on my light. Let's see inside that channel liner or the inside that uh that liner itself. Yep. So no protrusions or nothing. Everything looks good to me, you guys. Yep, and we are money. So let's get this side slide completed. This is a really tight fit, you guys. I mean, their tolerances on this particular slide is really, really tight. So that is the Live Free Armory Glock 23 slide or the Glock 19 or whatever type of Glock. Um, they only have one model for this particular slide, but oh, I think it came out pretty good. What do you guys think? A few moments later. All right, so just safety check this first. So my final impressions on the Live Free Armory uh, Glock slide, uh, it is 416 stainless steel, so it will hold up. Fit and finish is really good. The tolerances, uh, it's fairly tight, but not tight enough to where I think you will have any malfunctions. And for the price, to be honest, you guys, I think this slide is a real competitor to the uh, Rock Slide USA um, Glock slides. So this particular slide, I did purchase it on eBay, but before I bought this slide, I did some research on the actual company itself. And like I said previously, they are located in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, it's 100% made in the USA, so that's a good thing. Their quality control looks pretty good. Like I stated earlier, the channels for the windows, they're very crisp, clean lines, and it 
it seems like a very overall good slide you guys i mean for 209 dollars plus shipping and tax and all that it came out to be 230 dollars which is really good i mean like i stated it is a really good competitor to the rock slide usa if you're going for a budget friendly type of build for your polymer 80 or your glock or whatever this is this is a good competitor but I haven't tested it out yet, so I won't give you my final impressions of what I actually think about it until I hit the range, but so far, I mean, fit and finish is good. It looks awesome. I mean, who cares about the looks if you can't protect yourself and your family? But that is my sort of tabletop review on the Live Free Armory lf23 slide like i said i'm not sponsored by them i did purchase this with my hard-earned money they do have uh glock 19 slides pretty much all the popular models for glocks and they have sig slides and ar components like i said but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and this overall tabletop review i didn't see a lot of reviews on live free armory so I figured I will put a review of their slide on because I feel like these will become really popular within the next, you know, seven, eight months. It's a little bit different from the Rock Slide USA slides. It has the windows instead of the Raptor cuts and the RMR fit really good. Nice flush fitting. I will eventually get the RMR plate for for the battery door because I heard that there has been instances of the RMR flickering on and off just because it's not getting a good solid contact with the slide and the battery and all that stuff. So that's one thing I will get. I'm waiting on my suppressor height sights and uh, don't roast me on the Olight. I got this for a smoking deal, 40 bucks for Olight. And I think I'm going to switch it up to either a Surefire X300 or a TLR1 HL just because the holsters are pretty easy to get. So yeah, like I said, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if it helps you out with your purchase on this particular slide, like I said, I did get this off of eBay. You will save about $40 more if you order it off of eBay. Um, the actual website itself, livefreearmory.com, it is like $260. So 300 out the door maybe with tax shipping and all that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm out, you guys. Peace. Look at Shapiro. You make me sick. You don't like freedom and look like a weirdo. Pay for his attorney general bid. But he thinks he's a hero. We ain't been hurting nobody. So why are you making him fearful? Fear mongering, all posturing. Meant for dividing and conquering. Wonder who sponsors him. Mr. Frisk inserts some vomiting, mind boggling, it's false marketing. Want the Constitution toppling, but they wrong again. We just want freedom like soccer was blossoming. Liberty.